Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 7. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we don't actually have any level 7 events available in the uh, Manufacturer Club races. But we do have some available in the semi-pro. Semi-pro. So we're going to take part in the 150 horsepower invitational for the Goodyear. We've got a Mazda Roadster. We've added some slightly stickier tires to give us a little bit of an edge. And also added some performance uh, like aero upgrades. Starting off at Sebring International Raceway. Moving on to Suzuka Circuit. And then finishing off in New York. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're starting out uh, D351. Performance index, so we are gonna storm the pack. We got four laps of this, Jesus. Didn't realize it was gonna be that long. Not bad. There we go. Ah, oh, this is a tune. I forgot how good... See, this is why I love TikTok. Because there are so many artists that you just never would have heard of that actually have tunes that slap. That's why TikTok is... There's good and bad to TikTok. Obviously, TikTok has turned the internet into a snowflake fest. Guaranteed. It, it's all stemmed from TikTok. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's truth. But. There are some good things. On there. Like. Discoverability. It's got one of the best algorithms out there. I don't know. I don't know. Never use TikTok, should I? Uh, probably not. That was terrible. If you've gone all this time without using TikTok, you probably should avoid it. Because otherwise you'll get absolutely fucking addicted to it. Like I am. I can sit and watch TikTok for like two hours. It just ruins my entire schedule. Yeah, YouTube Shorts is pretty much TikTok. But I actually prefer YouTube Shorts. Just because of the fact that YouTube Shorts will show you more educational stuff. It will show you, like, actual video content. Actual content. Actual stuff that's had effort put into it. TikTok just shows you shit. Not bad. It is so much easier, though, in this game to actually, like, drive properly. So much easier. <laughs> Whoa!
Whoa, bloody hell. Do 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 Not bad. This thing is flowing around these corners. Never mind. The Mazda's not doing too bad. She's got a really crappy driver. Let's be perfectly honest. Oh, there we go. Result. I'll take my credits, thank you, and I'm getting the hell out of here. Right, time to uh, go around uh, Suzuka. I don't think they've actually got the um, small version of Suzuka. I think it's Suzuka West. I think this is the East one, and the other one is Suzuka West. The cool thing about Suzuka, though, because of how the track is, you can technically run um, two motorsport races at any given time. So you can have one going around this circuit and then the other side as well. And they get close, but never close enough that they can crash into each other or cause damage or whatnot. Because the other track, that's the straight over there. On the other side, so. Plenty of space away. That's why I love this track. The tires are grippy. I would love for uh, different tire compounds and like different tire manufacturers to make a return in Forza. Because that, when it comes to upgrading tires, uh, I know I haven't shown it off on YouTube yet, but when you upgrade tires, you actually get to choose the tire manufacturer and they have slightly different stats. It's not horrendously different, but it's like stuff like. Uh, lifetime expectancy, grip, responsiveness. They're all slightly different in each of their factors. I don't everything and I found it in you. You. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. We might have to lift a little bit there. Oh, that's so close. That's one hell of a corner, though. Some peace of mind.
And there we go. Lovely jubbler. We're done with this one. With this one. Oh, I might actually need to steal uh, the charger out of my speaker. <laughs> my phone's dead. 5,700. Not bad. We're level 15 now. And we got a Porsche 911 Turbo and some driveline upgrades on discount. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that a lot. That is a beautiful car. All right, now that we've fixed the controller, we can restart the event. I can't believe that the controller just completely disconnected. Like, it was connected. The Both devices appeared as connected, but there was just no communication between the two. That was a fucking... Pigeon flying outside my window. Goddamn pigeons. I've had enough of them. Oh. Missed my breaking point there, but we're still fine. Not bad. Subway. Oh, I'm now hungry. In New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. I wonder what would happen if you were to decat a Bugatti Veyron. Because you know how that car has like or like a Bugatti Chiron? That car's got like 1500 horsepower, right? And you know when you decat a car, you normally get like an extra 5% of horsepower? Does that mean if you decat a Bugatti Chiron, you end up making like a 1650 horsepower engine? Because that'd be pretty crazy if that was the case. Who wants to raise some money so that we can uh, decat a Bugatti Veyron? Or a Bugatti Chiron? I'm also really interested, so, um, I don't know when it was. I think it was about six months ago. No! <laughs> I think it was about six months ago, right, We, uh, when Bugatti announced their partnership with Romac um, to produce, well, basically Romac got bought out by the VW group. So basically, they're now known as Bugatti Romac. But what I'm interested to see is what they produce and whether Bugatti will still produce Bugattis and Romacs will still produce Romacs. And it's just like a partnership between the two to make one or two cars. Because I'm not going to lie... A hybrid Bugatti with an electric system that's got like a thousand horsepower alongside a Bugatti W16. Two thousand something horsepower will absolutely destroy any car out there quite easily. Later, hear me tonight. Cause my feeling is just so right. I feel loved for the first time. This is a tune. And there we go. Across the line. Not bad. 
I'll take my 5,800. Thank you very much. Later. Hear me tonight. Because my feeling is just so right. I feel the... Ah, oh, shit. That's the wrong lyrics. Oh, look at that. Tommy Kira. They had another one? They got Subaru one. Holy crap. I love the look of that. Not sold on the wing. But that looks beautiful. Okay, we're back to uh, semi-pro again. Uh, taking part in the 200 horsepower Invitational. Sorry, some amazing music just came on. And my brain went fried. Uh, we're going to start off with Suzuka Circuit. New York Circuit. And then Maple Valley. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Suzuka Circuit. Starting in second place. So clearly our car isn't uh, up to spec, I guess. But uh, we do have the racing tires, which means we're going to be extremely fast around corners. Oh, that exhaust. Wow. Looking like a snack. Oh, sorry, Mr. Voxel. Bloody hell, this thing is quick around the corners. There is definitely a point where racing tires are kind of fucking pointless. Because this thing just isn't quick enough to make the most out of this. Yeah, so going around those corners, this thing is an absolute beast. What did they say? Not bad. I'm such a loser, swear to God. This thing's holding so much grip through the S's. Not bad. Ah, oh, the engine noise of this thing is just... Oh. That's the only noise that I can make to describe the engine. Swear to God, I'm the worst. Not bad. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, a little bit of a corner cut. Oh, well. Nobody needs to know. Right, one more lap. Let's see how fast we can make this one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. And across the line. Saving game data. Lovely. We're going to continue. 6,700 for that one. Not too bad. All right, here we go. We are... 
in New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Not bad. Why is there a massive ass American flag on that building there? The building itself is basically an American flag. There it is. Is that the Hass logo? It looks like the Hass logo. It might be. See, I was looking at the upgrades and was like, hmm. Tire upgrades, brake upgrades. Yeah, this is going to be overpowered. Uh, no, it's not. Clearly, I needed the upgrades. There you go, go. Not a bad start so far. They're going to start trying to catch up, though, on this straight. That's just the nature, though. Yeah, they are right up me bunda. But I've got much better brakes and tyres. I love the sound of that exhaust, though. They definitely have uh, fixed the audio engine of this game. But you can also tell that this game is heavily... Like, the engine is heavily based off of the last one. Motorsport 3 seemed to move on to an entirely completely updated engine. It's obviously based off the last one, but updated. This one is a lot more of a copy of the last game's engine than Motorsport 3 was a copy of this game's engine. There's a lot of design choices in this game that are similar to how they designed Motorsport 1. They took the good stuff out of Motorsport 1, I'll admit. But they got rid of the crap and replaced it with good. Like the handling model... Uh, it was close. man am ma We go not bad and that is us coming across the finish line we are done with new york with this car until we need new york again 6700 not too bad we got a uh, transmission and driveline upgrades by comp tech so those are available on cars made by acura got ourselves a discount for those lovely i will take those i appreciate any discounts Cause I'm broke, bitch. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> and off we go. I hate... The only part that I don't like about this car is the fact it's front wheel drive. So that means you can't accelerate and corner into corners. But luckily, because we have more uh, powerful front tires... We're able to do that and get right on the edge of these tires. Not bad. 
Oh, I love a good bit of Pendulum and Prodigy. Do you know what? After this race, once we move on to the next championship, we'll uh, put on some Prodigy. How's that sound? What you gotta do now? Right, we're on to lap number three now. Not too bad. Oh my god, I can't believe Motorsport 3 is our next, our next game. Honestly, when I finish Motorsport 3, it might actually be a bit emotional for me. Because I've always wanted to 100% complete Motorsport 3. But I never did as a kid. As a kid, I played a lot of Motorsport 3, I'll admit. But I, I sort of, once I got to like the R3 rated events, started taking part in those... I sort of slowed down big time with um, playing it. And when I got Motorsport 4, I didn't actually do any of the campaign. So there's clearly no tire wear or fuel wear actually programmed into these races. Because we'd start seeing fuel running out. Obviously not like running out, but like we'd start seeing the usage. We definitely by this point would have used a sixth, maybe an eighth of a tank. We haven't used anything. So clearly they deliberately program it so these ones don't use any of that. It makes sense why, because there's no point in having it. If the car's never going to run out of fuel anyways. Ba -na 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 -na. Not too bad. 6,700. We're now level 16. we got new Mitsubishi Lancers available in the store. E. E, E, E. E, 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 E. Not bad. We've got some more credits. And that is a Mitsubishi. It was a Mitsubishi, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's this one making a return. The Sparko Mitsubishi. Lovely car. Pioneer. I've not heard a lot from Pioneer recently. Did they go bus? Might have. You never know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.